Rawson and I was the lead interior designer for Zimbicots of Frasca Architects, um, working on the design and construction of this new, beautiful new project in Everett. We're standing on the roof now of the, of the tower. This is a 12-story building, and right behind me is the helipad. This helipad serving incoming and outgoing trauma with two dedicated elevators that take the patients either from or to the emergency department and the surgery departments. During the design and construction phase, uh, the team worked really hard to take advantage of the beauty of the natural surroundings in this environment. The design of the building is really based on the regional geological environment, the base of the building being very saturated and tonal and textural, and then the tower, the inpatient tower, these units where we're standing to be very light and airy. So all the detailing that goes into this, the design of this environment reflects that. In fact, the nurse station I'm standing next to is located at the end of the unit. This occurs on both wings, north and south, and really affords this beautiful natural light and view at a nurse station, which is fairly unusual in a facility this size. We're standing here in a typical patient room in the new tower. This space, like so many others, were designed with both functional and operational considerations. First and foremost, patient safety in mind, but also the healing quality and experience from a patient and family perspective. One of the most as uh, important aspects of the design of the inpatient units from a patient and staff perspective is lighting were designed to have no overhead light. So as I, from a patient perspective, I'm traveling down the corridor, looking up onto the ceiling. I don't have a light glaring into my eyes. All of the light is indirect, bringing a softer, non-glare light into the space. The staff spaces are also lit with the quality of the staff experience and the staff work um, experience in mind. This is a staff amenity space and it was designed as a small respite area for staff, recognizing that staff has a very high stress job. Um, the kind of care delivered in this facility is top notch, uh, nationally recognized. Just a few chairs um, really holding on to this, the, the um, idea that this not become a meeting space or a break room or a eating space, that this really be a respite zone these little areas we call the Zen Dens. We're standing in the surgery waiting room. This is one of two surgery floors in the new tower. And these rooms were really designed for longer term waiting. During a week long assessment, the seating was evaluated by clinicians, family members, patients, former patients, and people from every aspect of the administrative staff to evaluate the seating for comfort and durability. We're here standing in the main public lobby space we call the concourse of the building. This grand scale space um, is designed to have a timeless aesthetic. The use of natural materials, uh, terrazzo floor, limestone walls, um, black and steel and glass, uh, creates a soothing design aesthetic for this building that uh, harkens back to the natural environment. This staircase is glass and stainless steel and it connects the ground floor which is a houses the emergency department with the main first floor public concourse area. Um, this grand gesture helps to really create a sense of connection both internally in the building and with the community as it really showcases itself from the outside of the building. This emergency department is one of the largest in the region. By space, it will be the second largest in the state, and by volume, it is the highest in the state. There are 79 individual treatment rooms with privacy created by a sliding glass door. As in the upper floors, you notice the patient lift, um, a, a surgical type light, uh, exam light, that's used to target light where needed for suturing and other procedures. Um, all the things that are required, um, the gas, uh, vacuum, and uh, supplies that are required by the clinician to administer care bedside is all mobile and flexible so that this room could be turned over and used for different use um, during peaks.